Hello, it's Cheryl coming to you from Yikes, I'm a Chicken Mom, and we're live at the Red Roost Inn. And guess what? We just finished cleaning house. Oh my gosh, what a job. Not one chicken has gone in there yet, so there's no one piece of poop. No egg has been laid, nothing. It is clean, actually. It's cleaner than my house right now. So I thought what I'd do is I would give you a tour while it's clean and looking presentable. All right, let's take a little look. And I've done a little um, updating. Well, some little paint. I like to add a little bit of color. So, and as you can see, my screen door here is my favorite accent color, which is periwinkle. And so um, I added a little more periwinkle to it. So I'll show you that in a minute. But look, all my shelves, there's no dust. My baskets are hanging on the ceiling. I cleaned them all, sprayed them down. Everything, there's no dust, no dust. I'm so excited. And down here, those are my buckets that I use when I clean the poop board. And I use, I found these two little kids' chairs. They were like by the side of the road. So I snatched them up and I use them as a shelf under there. They turned out so cute. And let me see, oh, here, I wanna show you something else. See her? Yep, that's Barbie. I've never had a Barbie. I have never wanted a Barbie. I was the kind of girl that I liked to ride my bike and climb trees. But when I saw this Barbie, farmer Barbie, with a chicken under her arm, she's my very first Barbie, so I keep her out here in the chicken house. I've had her a couple years now, and she's still in her package, and I just enjoy looking at her. Anyway, so that's that. So let's see here. Oh. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. This is like my side that needs some work. I need some hooks so I can get my equipment hanging up rather than standing on the floor. And there's a little periwinkle stool. I just like having something, you know, when I come in the door or just to set something down that's really nice. And I don't have a lock on my sliding door yet. So this, this was a, like a wreath stand. And I just put it like right in front of that door to keep the chickens from bumping against it and getting out. Because this is a like a barn door that just slides on the rail. So my husband is, he keeps saying he's going to put some little stops in for me. Like down here and over here and a rail across there so I can slide it. And someday, someday, I won't need that anymore. But anyway, let's go in because you can see a little preview here, their little ramp. I painted it periwinkle. It was just a dirty old board before. It's going to be a dirty old board here again soon, but, but I just love that color, that little periwinkle pop in there. That's how they get up to their nesting or their roosting area. And see this right back here? Oh my gosh, that thing. It makes cleaning out this litter. I'm, I'm telling you, it raises up like like a wind like a regular kind of window that lifts up and it my husband parks the wheelbarrow under there and we just push the litter into the wheelbarrow and he takes it off it is so easy and it provides great ventilation too on a hot day today happened to be a hot day when we were doing all this but it was a nice ventilation to keep it nice and cool so look at the clean 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 it's clean well as clean as clean can be in a chicken house their little windows got cleaned. I don't know, I don't know how in the world a chicken can poop on a window, but I'm telling you, that window, when it was down, it's down position, it looked like a chicken had squirted poop up on there and it just ran down the window. I, I don't know how that happened. I, I don't, I have no other explanation how that could have happened, but it was crazy. Let me see here. So they have two roost bars and there's the other window. Clean, sparkly clean. So now see, that's the view out the window. That's, gosh, that's a good view, isn't it? Let's see what the view is out this other window here. Let's see here. Oh, out into the run, that's okay. We're gonna be putting some new sand in the run. The girls have got all the grit ate out of that contractor sand. And it is down to really just sand, so we have got to take care of that. Now, this is what I call their indoor store staircase. 
So they walk up here to get up on the roost bar. And then if they want in the top egg box, then they take the other flight of stairs up. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but it's fun. And let me see if I can show you inside their next box. I, I chose in my, whoops, sorry about that. In my roost, my nest boxes, I don't think that's clear. I chose to do community nest boxes, which worked out great when I only had seven chickens, but now that I've got 13, not so much because just one wants to hog the whole thing. And then down here, I've got a second one. And then if they would like, and I don't know why that's blurry and I apologize for that. Then down here on the floor, they can lay there. They do sometimes, not very often. And, but a lot of times I find right down here, a nice little round nest and like two or three eggs in it. So I don't know why they do that, but they do. But anyway, let's see. And when you look out of my chicken house, oh my gosh, why is it there? Sorry about that. There is my she shed. And I am going to soon do a tour of my she shed for you. I just love it. I have a rocker out there, an Amish rocker that my husband gave me for one of our anniversaries. And I have it out there and I just, I just love my she, she shed. So I'll take you on a tour of that soon too, because it's just about done being cleaned up as well. I want to take you out back here because I want to show you this door that I was telling you about. So, we're going to walk around here. And here's the little tree line that the chickens like to, to stay in. So, I'm going to turn this around. Okay. So, you see, there it is. And what happens is, I don't know if I can raise it. He's going to put some handles on this for me. This lifts up and down. So that whole thing just lifts up and it's so nice. And then these doors right here, they shut in the back. There's two of them that just come nice together. And then they're shut up tight. So I love that feature. I, I, I got that idea on Pinterest, I believe it was. I did a lot of research when I was getting ready to build my chicken house and that was one idea that I just thought was awesome. So I'm gonna open this back up. It's a hot day here today and these girls need some ventilation. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you was the tour. Up there's the window, it's up kind of high. We're on a hill here so the elevation is, I can't, I can't look in that window. It's too tall. Oh, and my planter here. I got a story about my planter. So, I've, I've had this chicken for, for a long time. And I planted his feet down into the dirt because the wind kept blowing it over. But my chickens eat the flowers. So, I think I'm just going to go to like Hobby Lobby and get some fake plastic, nice looking vines or flowers or something so that they don't tear it up. So that might be what I do next. So we'll see how that turns out. So anyway, that is the tour of my coop after it's cleaned. And I just thank you so much for joining us. And hopefully next time the she shed will be presentable and I can take you in there. Okay, have a good day everybody. Bye.